What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked old battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun on the Regulation E ladder, rocking out with a Justified Lucario team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about for today's team preview is going to be Mousel, the perfect Pokemon to pair up with this Justified Lucario. It's got Friend Guard alongside with the Safety Goggles, then it's rocking Super Fang to half opponent's HP, follow me to protect the ally Pokemon, beat up to actually proc that Justified boost for Lucario and protect for our fourth and final move. Second slot is going to be that Justified Lucario. And if you guys do not know what Justified does, every time this Pokemon or that Pokemon with the Justified ability is hit, it will get a plus one attack boost. So like I said, if you pair it up with Mousehold, you can then use beat up on your own Lucario, hitting it four times and giving it a plus four attack boost. Then from there, you can go in with Bullet Punch, E-Speed, Drain Punch to get HP recovery. Just do some crazy damage with Lucario. In our third slot, we got Pheasantipity, a great Tailwind support Pokemon, and at the same time, another Pokemon with Beat Up. It's got Protect, it's got Icy Wind, and it's also rocking out with Toxic Chain and the Covert Cloak. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Komo, -Oh, another Pokemon that you can pair up with Mousehold, get that Clangor Soul popping, and just have this Pokemon set up from there. It's got Bulletproof with the third spray, and then rocking Clangor Scales, Clangor Soul, Flash Cannon, and Protect. Fifth slot is going to be Gyarados, and Gyarados is just a solid support Pokemon within Scarlet and Violet. It has Intimidate with a Citrus Berry and then rocking out with Taunt, Thunder Wave, Waterfall, and Dragon Tail. Final Pokemon is going to be Rillaboom. I really do wish this Rillaboom did have Grassy Glide, but hey, it's still pretty strong with this moveset right here. It's got Grassy Surge as its ability, the Salt Vest as its item, and then rocking Fake Out, Drum Beating, High Horsepower, and Brick Break. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation E ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Justified Lucario team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. They got Annihilate alongside with Cresselia, and then they're rocking out with Glacier, Torkoal, and Hisui and Logan combo. And then last but not least, they do have Landorus. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? Pheasantipity, not too bad here. A solid little lead. It's got the beat up. I kind of want to lead something with beat up on Lucario. So I'm definitely going to lead Lucario. And it's either going to be Mousehold or Pheasantipity. And in this case, I might just go Mousehold. Just so I can follow me shots later on in the match. In our... In our... Hmm, third slot. Do we have Gyarados here? I feel like Rillaboom could be solid. I feel like Trick Room is just a problem. It really is just a problem for us all around. So, you know what? I'm still just going to go Rillaboom here. I think Fake Out later in the match, we can eventually waste out some Tailwind turns and really get after that way. And then maybe just go in with you. Pheasantipity. I mean, it's more of just like a support Pokemon. Maybe I'd rather go in with somebody who can hit a bit harder. Maybe like Gyarados. Or even the boy over here. Komo. -o. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go Komo. -o. As back end Pokemon, and who didn't I bring in here? Oh, I forgot to click in the roll boom. There we go, works perfectly. Looking to get started here with Lucario, but this one seems like a tough battle to actually start the video off with because Trick Room is it's a problem, <laughs> it's a nice little problem. But Lucario with first turn priority, pretty massive for us. I really wish this was Steel Terror type, so Bull Punch would do even more damage. But E Speed with the normal Terror type works fine considering it takes away most of our weaknesses. So he ends up sending out Intimidate on the Lando and Cresselia over here. But at this point, do I just terrestrialize the Lucario? I mean, he can EQ freely, which kind of sucks, right? It definitely kind of sucks, but I'm still just going to terrestrialize you. And I am just going to go for a Drain Punch just to get back some HP. I know it's not very effective on both, but I'd rather get back as much HP as I possibly can. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna go for a beat up onto Lucario. Just try to get that uh, justified boost. So Cresselia could be setting up the trick room, it could be ally switching. I think EQ is definitely a possibility from the Lando here. So that's exactly why I would rather Terrasilize. The so Terrasilize and Lucario, I can eventually E speed next turn if they do pop trick room, get off some big time damage. And I know I'm minus one right now, but with this beat up boost, I will go up to plus two, which would be pretty massive for us. I'm going with the normal Terra. Get a nice little beat up going here. Justified boosting that attack stat. Beautiful. So now we're even. We're, we will be plus three because beat up, the number of times it hits is the amount of Pokemon you have already. So right now we have four Pokemon. So it's going to hit four times every single time. 
There we go. Plus three boosts onto Lucario. I know they're a little scared here. I wonder what they're going for. Definitely EQ, right? Yeah, there's the EQ. Levitate comes out here. And Lucario should be able to soak rather well. Yeah, there we go. And now Dream Punch can fly. Even though it's not very effective, I really want to use there just because we get back a ton of HP. A ton of HP. So Crest is going to go next, and I wonder what he's going to go for. Trick Room, maybe? Yeah, he's going to end up popping Trick Room. The Trick Room comes out here. I'm still just going to E speed the Lando. And I think from here, we're just going to Super Fang the Crest and half HP that. Because I got leftovers coming in here, giving me some HP. I like that a lot. I like E speed coming out here as well. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So E speed down onto you. And then a nice big time Super Fang going into the Cresselia slot is going to be nice. Just a half HP on a Pokemon with so much HP. So that be my play. He could end up protecting Lando. I hope not, right? I really hope not. But Lucario with the normal terror. Looking to get off some big time damage. There we go. The East Speed comes out here. Should KO it. It's terror type with plus three. Get it on out of here. Plus we got a crit. Get it on out of here. We'll take a Rocky Helmet damage. That's no big deal. I don't really see Cresselia being able to KO us. So I think from here, Super Fang's going to work well. He's just going to end up Moonblasting us. And yeah, you're not KOing us. You just are not KOing us. So Torkoal is a Pokemon that could come out here. And at that point, I think I'm just going to protect my Lucario. And just waste out some Trick Room turns, right? I think maybe a Double Protect could be the call. We'll see what they want to do here. I do have Friend Guard, which is great. It's going to... It's going to stop a little bit of damage from coming in. That's why the Moonblast didn't really do too much damage. But they sent up their next Pokemon, and it's going to be Annihilate. So, a mm, little annoying. I do have Bullet Punch for it. And looking at this, Follow Me might be the play. Right? Bullet Punch into Follow Me. Or do I double protect and waste out Trick Returns? No, you know what? We're just going to go Bullet Punch here. And I am just going to go for a Follow Me, because none of these guys have double hitting moves. And Crest should go first, so in that case, I can just go for follow me here. And then attack the Annihilate with a big time bullet punch. Plus three. I wish we did have the Steel Terror just for this instance, but still, that's some nice damage there. Moonblast is going to come across here. It's going to deal some damage to you. And are you going for a bulk up or an attacking? No, you're going for a train punch. That's fine. So follow me. We get a lot of value out of it. Um, Two turns left in the Trick Room. And from here, what's the play? Because Annihilate, looking rather annoying. We got to get rid of this trick in terms. So, in the back, I could bring out Robum. A nice fake out turn could be nice. Or I could save it for a little bit. I could just bring out Komo, -O, but Komo, -O, not really going to be doing anything crazy. I think we need to waste out trick room right here. So, by faking out. The crest? Yeah, we're gonna have to fake out the crest. Kinda go from there, right? This crest does have moon blast. It's a little bit of a problem. We could just not fake out the crest and maybe just attack annihilate, which wouldn't be a bad turn. Because next turn I could just protect you and we set the last turn trip room. I'm thinking of just I'm thinking of just double down into annihilate instead of protecting here. I think double down into an eyelid could be good. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm doubling right down into an eyelid. Drum beating, east or bullet punch coming after him. Trying just to get rid of this thing. I want it gone. I want it gone. Of course, a Luna blessing. Getting some HP back. Rather annoying. And he's gonna drain punch me, aren't you? No, we go first. Can this KO? Can you just straight up KO? Go ahead, Robin. Oh my. Oh my lord. That hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. Defiant boost too. No. And he bulks up. Actually, that works great. That works great that he goes for the bulk up instead. That works great because I thought he was just going to drain punch my Lucario and take us out. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. So now I'm just going to... Do I protect Lucario? Do I protect... Probably not. I think I just bullet punch. I think I just attack this turn, right? Because if I keep bullet punching into that slot, we just KO it. I mean, I could waste out the Trick Room turns now. Would probably be your best bet. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste out the Trick Room turns, and I'm just gonna go for drum beating into into this slot because he's already minus one on that attack. Yeah, and he's gonna protect anyway. So I'm just protecting my Lucario. I'm trying to do as much damage 
And plus, I have to get off some damage onto Cresselia here. Because I don't want to F full HP where I can get off another Trick Room. So, it goes for a Lunar Blessing. Might have to double down into it next turn. Let's see how much damage we're going to do here. And it still heals through that Protect. Which is crazy. The so Drum Beating is going to fly here. It's doing a decent amount of damage. And we get a Speed Drop onto it. Okay, so... Oh, this is ugly. I think we have to get rid of Crest. I, I don't think we can allow this thing to set up another Trick Room, right? That would be our biggest problem. But the thing is, I want to double down into into these Pokemon right here. But Annihilate goes back up to full HP if I let it get another turn. Hmm. Who do I attack here? Because he's going to set up Trick Room if not. So I could E-Speed you down. This is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough. I'm just gonna get rid of the crest. We're not gonna allow him to set up another trick room. I simply will not. I simply will not let him set up another trick room. I knew this match was gonna be tough. But we end up just taking him out in one shot. And that's actually pretty massive. That's pretty massive. He is gonna be able to go for a drain punch after this. This drum beating is not gonna be able to KO. And drain punch is gonna fly. And we get this defiant boost again. This thing is just ready to KO anything in one shot. Yep, there's Drain Punch. So he's going to take out Lucario. He's going to get back some HP. And this thing is just being a problem. And now might be the turn to double down into it. really depends who they go into. But I, I, I couldn't let him set up another Trick Room, right? It just it just couldn't. I, I can't allow that. Rather deal with this thing. He's rather annoying right now. Plus four. And then go into you. So we got Throat Spray, uh, typing, eh, typing's okay, I feel like he one-shots all my Pokemon at this point. And who's he gonna go into for his final Pokemon? It's gonna be Torkoal. So the Torx come out here, that's looking a bit scary. And I'm just gonna go for a Clang Scales here, just so I can hit up on both of them. And just go for High Horsepower into the Torkoal slot, because if it goes for an Eruption, I don't want to deal with that. It's just such a tough squad to go up against, but Lucario is killing it in this match. Coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. But I mean, Drain Punch, he just gets back so much HP, especially being plus four. It's like so annoying to actually pick up KOs on this thing. But Clang of Skull is going to come out here. We get off some big time damage. Our defense drops. We get off Throat Spray, which is beautiful. Lovely little Throat Spray. High Horsepower is going to connect. This is KOing. It's not KO, and of course, we leave two of his Pokemon on real low HP, and yeah, there goes Annihilate, just doing us dirty. Annihilate's just so good. It really is. It really is just so good. But I'm so upset that we left that Torkoal on pretty much below 5 HP, and we did the same thing to uh, Annihilate. But this Torkoal ends up having Fire Blast, and that's going to one-shot my roll them all day. So, GG's to our opponent. We got to use Lucario pretty well, but we ended up losing this match. Let's go hop into our second one. Let's grab ourselves our first win. Second match coming at you guys. Would love to grab ourselves a win in that first match, but it just didn't go our way. Trick Room teams are so hard to play up against, especially when you have a team that you can't really counter them with. We had Gyarados to potentially taunt them, but I feel as from there, they could have been Mental Herb with the uh, with the Cresselia, so I didn't really want to go in for that. But we're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against a pretty much meta squad. They got the Fire Ogre Pond, they got Sinistra, alongside with Landorus, Urshifu, Iron Hands, and... Uh, Tornadus. So from here, I think maybe just beat up Lucario again. Could be really good for us. He could go back into the front guard if I want to. Or I can go into more of a Tailwind setter with Fez and Dippity, which would not be bad, especially with Icy Wind and all that good stuff. So you know what? I'm going to go into both of them. And let me see your speed real quick. I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. 150? I like that all day. We'll go Rillaboom as back end support. And last but not least, either... You know what? No, Garrett is going to be the play. Nice little Intimidate. They got a few Pokemon that we could be super effective up against, such as the Lando alongside with the Ogre Pond if it wants to put its mask on. So I'm cool with this. I definitely am cool with this. I'm just scared on who they're going to lead, right? I feel like we could have won that last match too if Annihilate didn't have a nice stream of HP recovery with Drain Punch. Considering we put it down low multiple times, but then every time we just Drain Punch, bang, big time HP recovery. Considering we dropped its speed twice, it got plus four in Defiant Boost. It was tough. I knew that battle was going to be tough. But Tornas Earth is going to come out here for the lead. And bum, 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 um, huh? I 
I'm gonna go Drain Punch into Beat up here. So I can set up Tail and potentially the next turn. Do I wanna keep my typing? Yes. Right, yeah. I wanna keep my typing. I don't want a normal Terra just yet. So we'll see what Urshfu wants to do here. He's gonna end up Terrastalizing. It's gonna be the Urshfu. And that's looking a little scary if he goes straight up, right? Yeah, and he might just rain dance and look to KO somebody. Maybe Pheasantipity. That'd be scary. That'd be real scary. Nope, Tailwind comes out here. So he wants the full speed. Who are you going after? Go after my Pheasantipity, please. This Pheasantipity should be able to soak. And now you're going to take out my Lucario, aren't you? Now you are going after Pheasantipity. He's going to be able to soak that. I love it. I love it. So that's a solid... That's not a bad turn for us. It's not a bad turn for us. Now I'm able to go for beat up here. I'll get the plus four attack boost. Drain Punch should rip some big time damage into that thing. And I love having the first turn priority. It's pretty massive for us. And we go from there. Drain Punch might, might KO. If you're not sashed, we would love that. We would love it. We would love it if you're not sashed. And we just KO you. So Drain Punch flying here. You're not Sash. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Lucario. It's a big time damage output. We get rid of Urshfu and we get rid of their Terra at the same time. So we don't got to worry about Terra for the rest of the match. We have Terra. We can Terra East Speed if we want to. Um, first turn priority moves might be our friend considering they have Tailwind set up. They're now going to go in Lando. So Lando's going to come out here. Um, we might just Terra East Speed maybe look for the KO because EQ's, EQ's definitely looking a little scary. So now I'm only plus three. I think Terra E speed is definitely a call here. So I'm going to do that. And if I can, do I just protect? Or do I go for maybe like an Icy Wind here? It sucks because he can go for EQ pretty freely here. I mean, I can actually hard slot Pheasantipity into like you. And negate some EQ damage or neglect it. So yeah, actually that's going to be my play. I'm going to Terrastalize Lucario. Let me just make sure I'm doing it. Thrasilize Lucario, E speed into Landorus, and then hard swap into Rillaboom here. Or I could go Gyarados. Gyarados isn't bad, but I think getting out this terrain, it actually, I think it halves EQ damages. So if that's the case, if EQ is the case, which I, I would think it would be, we can set this grass terrain. And then we can have Fake Out for next turn, which could be pretty good for us. But I am scared of the Bleak Windstorm. It could do some nice damage to Rillaboom, but at the same time, I think Rillaboom. Can soak it up. I'll hit that Terra button with my Lucario, who's now plus three on attack, considering they just intimidate us. And we're gonna look to get off some big time damage with each speed. We're looking just to E speed out. I probably maybe could have Dream Punch, but I think at this point, E speed's gonna do a huge chunk of damage. And I was correct. That's some, that's some big damage. <laughs> that's some big damage. Yo, Lucario, let's go. So honestly, I didn't really need to swap there. I mean, I can fake out, waste out Tailwind turns, and I can just go for E speed. But I, I love the HP recovery on Lucario here as well with the grassy terrain and the leftovers. It's just really big. So from here, depending on who their last Pokemon is, I'm not really too worried about Tornadus. It, it will do some damage, but not anything crazy. But they're just going to go in Iron Hands, who I'm easily faking out here, right? 1,000% faking out. And I'll go into it in E speed. So... Actually, I could get back HP here, which might be better off. I might be better off just going Drain Punch into Fake Out to the slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to double Fake Out because I don't think Bleak Wind Storm could KO my Lucario at this HP. And then if I can get uh, Drain Punch HP back, Leftovers HP, and Grass Terrain HP, it'd be, it'd be massive. It'd be massive. So, yeah, we're going to Fake Out the Iron Hands here. He's going to go for the Bleak Wind Storm. Who's dodging it? Who's dodging it? I think it's Rillaboom. So Rillaboom dodged it. That's actually even better. I knew Lucario was surviving that. Iron Hands going to flinch. Big time Drain Punch. Give me some HP back. Let's go. And that pretty much wraps it up, right? Pretty much wraps it up because I know... I know Rillaboom should... Actually, is Rillaboom outspeeding? Is Tailwind still here? Because I kind of just want to E-speed the, uh, the Tornadus down. I kind of, but if you have Tailwind up, you have Tailwind up, yeah, which you do. E-speeding 
you is just gonna be a smart play because I do have two Pokemon in the back end, which is fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna go for a drum beating. Or yeah, I'm just gonna go for a drum beating into Tornadas. I just wanna make sure the Iron Hands goes out. Most of them don't rock protect, so I'm not worried about it. I think E Speed will just fly through here, KO it all day. And look at that, yo, justify Lucario. I, I dude, I have, have I'm having a blast using this Pokemon today. So much fun. Throwing off po people left and right. Throwing off people left and right. There's a bleak wind storm. Lucario should be able to serve. Same thing with Rolo. Beautiful. That's gonna be a sweep. That's gonna be a sweep, because this will do a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy, but E Speed should be able to finish off no problem. I'm just hitting way too hard with Lucario. Absolute stud, absolute stud. Especially using a Pokemon that like you don't see too much on the rank ladder. It's always fun when you just teen off on people with it. The Tailwind's finally gone. It do not matter. East Speed's gonna come across here. And then I guess we'll just go for another drum beating. But I think our opponent cancels the match and that is gonna be a sweep. No, they do not cancel. I'll take an East Speed victory. See you later. He's just hitting too hard. He's plus three on attack. You got that normal tire to give it the boost as well. There it is, one and one. Let's go hop into a third and look for that winning record. Final match is here, and we're going up against a really cool team. We got the Alolan Doug Trio squad, alongside with Sandaconda, Lycanroc, and Lycanroc is going to be, uh, what is that? Sand Rush, so it doubles its speed in Sandstorm. And then they're also rocking out with Ditto, Grimmsnarl, and Urshifu. So Sandaconda is probably going to be the lead with Sand Spit. Um, I don't really mind that. I think going in with Lucario yet again could be a pretty solid turn. We can go for beat up. We can hit pretty hard. I like it all around. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys. In the back end, I like Rillaboom and I like Gyarados here. I just think it works really, really perfectly. We could go Tailwind, but I think with their speed and all their Sand Rush, I just think going into Tailwind, there's just no point. So I'm just going to try to boost Lucario in this third and final match yet again and look to just get after it with first turn priority moves because it worked so well in that last match. I would, I would just love to do it again. And you guys seen already like all these Pokemon that we're already using. So I feel like this video is just all about Lucario and just getting after it with him. So we'll see who they end up leading. Curious to see. I think Sandaconda and probably like another Sandstorm Pokemon. Hopefully it's Duck Trio. You don't see that Pokemon too much. No, it's just going to be Ditto. So Ditto's going to come in here and it's just chilling. Hi Ditto, how you doing? How you doing Ditto? Um, yeah, I'm just going to Drain Punch Ditto and I'm just going to go for Beat Up. Actually, let me trash slide stream punch because I'm not dealing with the sand economy. Right? Yeah. I'm not dealing with the sand economy. So we'll do that and we will just go for a beat up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're looking just to set up the Lucario yet again. We don't want to just trigger the sandstorm right away. That Sandaconda's whole thing is it has this ability called Sand Spit, where it will spit out a sandstorm once it gets hit with a move. So as long as we don't hit it with a move. We will not set off the sandstorm, so maybe we might just want to tackle this left side down and keep hitting it and hitting it and hitting it and just not letting sandstorm come out to the end. That could be a smart play for us. Could be a smart play. But Santa Con is so funny. It just looks like a snake wrapped around another snake. <laughs> it looks so funny. But I think it's a cool Pokemon. So we end up getting the plus four boost, which is lovely. Drain Punch gonna fly, and we just Take out the poor little glob. Bye, Ditto. Get it on out my face. So easy crit. We're now set up with Lucario. I think potentially a high horsepower could come into Lucario slot. That's why I want to thrasilize it. And know it's gonna be a sand tomb. So still, I mean that's fine. I have leftovers. Um, he's gonna trap me in the sandstorm. Like I said I think just going after that one slot might be your best bet. It might be your best bet. Just not attacking. Him. And just not allowing Sandstorm to come out here. Because he has Pokemon that really thrive with the Sandstorm. So let's see who he brings out. I hope it's a Lola Diglett. I think they're hilarious. It's just like Diglett's or uh, Duck Trios. Yeah, it is going to be. It's just Duck Trio with hair, right? Yeah, dude, look at him. It's so sick. <laughs> I think it's so sick. But from here, I'm just going to rock another Bullet Punch. I think I just go follow me here. I think I just protect Lucario. And just keep targeting down this left slot. Right? I do not want to pop out the Sandstorm. I'm not going to attack. Santa Cobra or Silicobra? What is it? It's a uh, Santa Conda. Santa Conda. Silicobra is the other Pokemon. He has a protecting Doug Trio, which is totally fine on my end. I don't mind it. And we'll go for follow me. The Drain Punch going to get blocked. The Doug Trios are looking fabulous. 
and she's just gonna sand to my mouse. So, all right, like I, I don't, I don't mind. It's just gonna be a lot of after turn effects here because look we get the leftovers going and sand tomb's got it going both pokemon rather annoying wasting my time but sand tomb actually does a nice little chunk of damage what's it doing about 12 damage i don't know that one did 21 i don't like that one bit not one bit but still i'm just gonna drain punch and duck trio and i'll just follow me again i think it's time to just protect lucario have it do a single while it's plus four right and i mean if i have drain punch and if i'm hitting drain punches most of the time I'm KO and, and at the same time I get back a ton of HP. So I wonder what our opponent does for me. He knows Shrink Punch is coming in here. And I'm just going for a follow me. And what are you going for? An Iron Head. That's fine. That's fine. Drain Punch gonna KO you. See you later, Dark Trio. Give me my HP back. Yeah, I'm not gonna trigger the Sandstorm. I'm not doing it. I, I refuse to do it. I think that's what our opponent wanted. They just want us to actually hit the hit the snake so the sandstorm comes out here this thing's wrapping us now this thing's just here just to just to pester look at that we get get some sand damage alongside with the rap damage yeah so this thing just wants to set up a sandstorm and then set up after effects wrap it be up unbelievable so like rock comes out here again we just don't want to trigger the sandstorm so <laughs> i'm cool with that we're just gonna go into another drain punch actually i could just go bullet punch here which I like more. A little bull punch. And if I can just double down into this thing, I would love to just KO. Because chances are it could be a Sash Pokemon. You might protect, but that'd be fine with me if you end up protecting. Then I could just get to bring out like Intimidate on my uh, Gyarados. Pretty much wrap up this match. But yeah, Lucario is so much fun today. So much fun. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing. How dare you? I'm drain or I'm bullet punching in you. And what typing are you gonna be cooking here? Rock. A nice little rock. That's totally fine. You are normally rock. So you're just looking to do a bit more damage. But if you're not sash, you probably died to this, right? Yeah, and you're not sash. Good game. GG. So we take out you and we just don't allow him to get off that sandstorm, which I think was a big play for us. But now you guys will actually see this uh this ability in action because beat ups can come out here. And now look, he's just gonna sand spit, and there's the sandstorm. So again, perfect for us. We just didn't want to waste out these uh, sandstorms, or we just didn't want to pull out the sandstorm and give them the advantage of the weather. So we played this one smart. We played this one smart. It's going for a sand tomb, and now look at all the pester damage going. On. You got wraps on me. You got buffets by the sandstorm. You also got uh, sand tombs going on here. Just a lot of different pester damage. And I think this team is actually pretty good if they were able to set up the sandstorm, but. Us just playing the way that we did actually worked out perfectly. But that's going to be game. I'm just going to be able to rip into Santa Cana with the Drain Punch, Bull Punch, East Speed. East Speed will get out, no problem. We I mean, don't get the sweep, but yo, Lucario, absolute, a stud today. An absolute stud. <laughs> An absolute stud. We lost the first match, but I knew that one was going to be tough. Second match, third match was just the Lucario show. Put it in there, use beat up on it, get the plus attack boost, and then just go to town. Just start KOing Pokemon left and right. But I'm gonna E-Speed here. I'm gonna pop a nice little drum beating. Opponent probably cancels. No, they don't. They just let Lucario showcase his damage output. Look at this thing. God dang. God dang. There it is. 2-1 for today's video. We'll take that winning record all day. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-1 and one winning record with this Justified Lucario team. Used it in every single matchup, and it worked so well in today's video. Absolutely loved it. Pretty much one-shotting almost every Pokemon we touch and just rocked out in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.